your name? Oh, Alexandra Spaulding. Oh, How long have I been in Indonesia? A lifetime. <laughs> no. A wonderfully long time. A marvelous day. I can't thank you now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sorry, Miss, but I cannot find your reservation. Oh, well, I'm afraid I didn't make one. Not exactly. This trip was planned so hastily. <laughs> But I do have a ticket uh, with an open return back to Chicago. I've had it quite a while, as you can see, but I trust it's still good. Yes. Purpose of your trip? Going home. Sometimes I feel like a sitting duck working so closely with Roger. That's just because you're paranoid. Look, Roger has absolutely no reason to suspect that we're on to Best Lowell's trail, okay? And by the time he does figure it out, it's gonna be too late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sure would be fading out on us now, would you? Well, I'm afraid we faded out a long time ago over there, Billy. What are you talking about? This party's just cranking up. We're headed out to the place to get a bite of early morning biddles. A bite? Daddy, if I know you, you're going to make up a whole big mess of eggs. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, right. don't, don't forget that huge pan of bacon. Yes, oh. and this skillet full of hash browns. Yeah, and then we're going to two-step till the sun rises. How's it sound? Good? <laughs> Sounds wonderful, but I am going to call it a night. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline, too. Uh, well, then it's just us Lewis's? No, no. One McHenry. Oh, I'm sorry, Vanessa. I'm just going to have to take a rain check. Yeah, and I don't think I can do a half step, Daddy. I'm really tired, but thanks. <laughs> oh, you're going to cut out? No. Oh, well, I think you want to be alone, all right? Yeah. Uh, Hi. You've got me, and I'm <laughs> very hungry. Well, I want to invite everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You know, Chili, we both have a lot to gain, you know, you and I. If all goes well, we're both going to be back where we belong. I'd start picking out colors for your new office at WSBR if I were you. Alan Michael, you're nice and very attractive, but I have no intentions of sleeping with you. Yeah. Honey, do I know you? Did, did we meet before? Hey, was, was it tonight at the wedding? Who is he to you? How did you well, get this, here? This is Buzz... Uh, this is Frank Sr. Frank Cooper Sr. He's Lucy. my husband. Sr.? Well, everybody called him Buzz. Why? Why do you want to know? Husband! <laughs> oh, ex-husband, if you want to be technical about it. What are you doing here? I came for my money, that's all. The photograph. You're Buzz's old army buddy's daughter. Well, gee, I wish someone would have mentioned that to me earlier. Being as buzz as the man I've called daddy all my life. Wow. Uh, you know, like, what a night. Wow. Yeah, you've really been busy, haven't you? I mean, I really do gotta hand it to you. I figured you'd have a hard enough time finding a date. Noah's getting married and divorced. Wait, excuse me, miss, but I think I'd know if my own husband had gotten married. What are you talking about? Unless you think that that wedding outside was Buzz's, and it certainly wasn't. What is she talking about? Uh, well, in a way, though, it was. I mean, if you really think about it, Buzz planned the whole thing. It was the sweetest flavor of love, the greatest gift that a man could give his daughter. That girl, she was your daughter? Or baby. No, she was no baby. She I, was a I full think we should grown... go for a ride. No, the way I figure, I've already been taken for a ride. Now, all I want is my money. Just give it to me. That is the most ungrateful thing I think I have ever heard after everything he has ever done for you. To me, you mean. 
That was Buzz's money. Now, he has more than done his duty to you. You look like a full-grown woman to me, a woman who is able to hold down a job. Lady, just can it, will you? Let me negotiate this with this man of a thousand faces Maybe here. Maybe we have to talk. Yeah, we have to talk. You know, this is a cute little setup you've got going here. I hope I'm not blowing it for you, am I? Lucy, I'm glad to see you. This is a good, gutsy scam you've got. I mean, adding senior tacked on to your real name. Where did you get that from? And, um, where did you get that face from? A very expensive doctor. I'll explain it in the car. Yeah, well, I can hardly wait. But why don't you just write it down and mail it to me, okay? In the meantime, just give me my money. You are the most disrespectful young woman I have ever seen. Now, who was it that said ingratitude is sharper than a serpent's tooth? Mick, Mick Jagger. Jagger. This is the most wonderful, kind, generous man in the whole world. Now, he took you under his wing for an old war buddy when your family was in need, and now it's time, honey, for you to let him go. Does this woman ever make sense? His first obligation is to his own family now. I'll explain this in the car. His family, huh? What the heck do you think I am? Well, you might call him daddy, but I think you know that he's not really your father. I am. You are what? Lucy is my daughter. Oh, my. It's you not... my big mouth. Oh, I am sorry. You adopted her and you, you didn't tell her. No, that's not the way it was. No? That story about my old war buddy, that's not true. Not quite. I mean, strictly entree news. You know you can be strict with me, Ginger Baby. I have a sneaking suspicion it was Mr. T took that tape. Mr. T? That's not Mr. T, the guy with the chains. I'm not that's... talking about the guy with the chains. I'm talking about Master Thor. Oh, right, him. Now, I figure there was something on that tape that he didn't want Mistress to hear. Oh, could be vice versa, though. Well, how do you figure? I think that the Master is a whole lot more devoted to the Mistress than she is to him. So where is he? Now, look, I'll be the first to say I think the mistress might be happier with Mr. Cooper, which is why I secretly never turn him away from the front door. But I think that you, you've got a thing or two to learn about women who love too much. A codependent state, I happen to be in the midst of recovery from Oh, I did not know I'm sorry. Yeah, now, women like me, we cling to emotionally cold men like lint to socks, resulting in misplaced anger. Now, why do you think mistress is so snappy with us all the time, huh? Now, see, but I understand her because it's our job. Okay, but mistress spends so much time alone in her room and yeah. she stays so thin. I think she has one of those eating disorders, which I've heard about, and I'm very sorry for her, but I don't have a lot of sympathy for her because food is something that I could always take a leave, mostly take. All right? Yeah. And we all know what food is a substitute for, and I'm not talking about field hockey. You know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. And if Mr. Thorpe was getting, you know what I'm saying, what a man truly needs, then he wouldn't be out I crawling around alone at night more. looking for I the first... I don't know. Well, well, well. Looks like I'm just in time for another episode of Upstairs, Downstairs. And what might the maids be talking about this time? Well, we were actually, we were on our, on our way to our rooms. Oh, to our rooms. Stop! I was sitting all alone in my room, starving myself to death, mm -hmm. missing my lovely new husband, because he had to go and work late tonight at the office. He, he's such a... Hard. A worker. Hard he's... worker. Yes, mm -hmm. he is. Yes. For both of us. Mm -hmm. No, actually for all of us, because your employment, both of you, depends on the success of Spalding Enterprise. Mr. Thorpe is a brilliant man. Einstein had nothing on him. You're absolutely right, Donna. I Which know. reminds me, my bathtub, it's got a bit of grit in it, so it's in bad need of a scrubbing, terribly irritating to the skin. Grit? First thing tomorrow, I tonight. am in... Tonight! Tonight I am in there with the rags, with the cloth, grit be gone, you won't see any grit this side of town. Uh, well, uh, I guess that I will be going to bed. Rummy? Pardon me? A nice game of rummy with a bit of polite conversation, Ginger. Polite, uh, what would we be talking about? Oh, 
Oh, I don't know life and its many attributes. Well, you know, actually, come to think of it, I was never much good at rummy, or, or life, for that matter. But you are unbeaten as a conversationist, aren't you, Ginger? You're right. I know. I am very boring. I should, I should go to bed. I should just go to bed, and I'll see you in the morning, Mom. Gee, I just can't wait. Sorry, Alan Michael, but I don't want this to get out of hand. I'm sure you'll get over it. I wouldn't be so sure. Need some help? No, Roger, thanks. See, our boy here is very bad at taking no for an answer. I can handle this, Roger. Don't be so sure. He's liable to get even more persistent for reasons having absolutely nothing to do with your unquestionable charms. Get lost, Roger. Now, not until I clarify a few things for Jilly. See what's really happening here, Jilly. The reason this man appears to be hitting on you. Well, why don't I let him tell you himself? So what you're saying is that that, that girl in the wedding dress, she's related Lucy, to me? Lucy. Daddy, is that what you're saying? I was born in Springfield. I grew up here. And I left under not the best circumstances. I never expected to come back or be welcomed when I did. But you were. The point is, what? The point should be that there was no point in telling you. Right. No point. All I would have done was make you worry that I was going to run out on you whenever I got the notion. I was all you had. Yeah. That and... I was afraid you'd think ill of me, which I know sounds cowardly. Hell, it is cowardly, but that is the way it was. Oh, great. So you stuck with me because you felt sorry for me. Is that what I'm hearing? No. No? What? You were all I needed, so that was all I had. <laughs> all that stuff that you used to feed me about. You and me, kid against the world. All of that. It but, was oh. you and me. I meant that. But you took off three years ago with what's his name. Oh, so that's all mine. Would you fun? let me explain? After you left, I bounced around, then I came here. Oh, and then it was you and her, and, and him and her, and heaven knows who else. And you never, know, I never stopped worrying about you, Stop. I never stopped thinking about you. All I wanted to do was have a chance to square it with everybody. Yeah, but you didn't. What was I supposed to? Was I supposed to spill my guts to Gomez, the banker? Yeah, that's what you're doing here, huh? Spilling your guts. Baby, I'll do anything for you, anything you want. I heard that before. I have heard that before, and I don't think I can stand to hear it again. Well, all I want is my $7,000, and then I'll hit the road. Oh. It's been spent. It's what? Your $7,000. It has been spent on the wedding and the honeymoon. Buzz spent it on his other daughter. Okay, well, the honeymooners are off. And we wonder oh. what they're doing. <laughs> What's going on here? Mama? Hey, what's wrong? What's well, wrong? nothing's wrong. Nothing major. It just seems that this young woman is Buzz's other daughter. What? Uh, what? That's all. Look, I, uh, and it's a bummer to hear it this way, but if we all sit down, stay Lucy, hold on. Let me get this oh, straight. Please. Let me get this straight. You had another kid that you abandoned? No, she abandoned me, Frank. And if I don't find her, I may never see her again. Look, this really doesn't bear discussion. Alan Michael knows how I feel now, and that's the end of that. I don't think so. Now, I think Alan Michael has designs on all my employees, not just the ones at WSPR. You're wrong, Roger. Spalding's not the center of my life anymore. It isn't. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm quite happy with where I'm at. You think you're peerlessly smooth, don't you? But to me, you're utterly transparent. What am I transparent about? See, I have been and I will continue to be always at least one step ahead of you, Alan Michael. And you know why? Because you're a loser. You're a loser I can take down any time I've of mind. Now, you keep that in mind before you try to take me on again. Well, here's a thought for you, Roger. 
This, uh, this loser brought you down once before, and I'll do it again. And this time, there's not going to be anybody there to pick you up. So you won't be coming back. Thanks for the confirmation. Good. Yeah, among your many failings is the tendency you have to tip your hand way too early, as you just did with Jilly. That's why you're a loser. So you do your best, you do your worst, whatever. But this time it's going to hurt. There's going to be blood. And you're not going to have big, bad aunties standing by with bandages this time, sonny boy. We'll see who needs bandages. Hi, right, Jimmy. Oh, I never thought of myself as a pack rat, but I seem to have collected more in my stay in Indonesia than I thought. Well, now what do I need here? I need the difference between my ticket and, and the current price. If the airline you booked on hadn't gone bankrupt. Oh, oh, I understand completely. Well, let's see what I've got. A considerable amount of money. Well, huh. enough for a good dinner in Istanbul, New Delhi, or Kathmandu, but I'm afraid not enough for an airline ticket. Yes. It's quite lovely, isn't it? Pardon me, I did not mean to stare. Oh, well, that's what beautiful things are made for. To be admired and to be worn. Madame? Ah, but you can't refuse it. Look, it looks absolutely wonderful on you. Like it was made for you. You wear it in good health. You are very kind. <sighs> now, what do I need here? I think we can work out an even ticket exchange. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful. Well, you give what you can and you get what you need. You've taught me well, don't you? It is you who have learned. Travel well, Alexandra. And you. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Bye. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, it's my fault. My fault. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Can you tell me which gate is the Chicago flight? Huh? Where did you get that? Well, they may not be your father's eggs, but they should do in a pinch. You thinking about pinching somebody? I'm keeping my options open. <laughs> And let's see how these are. How do they get cold just coming up the stairs? Hmm. I think they're great. No. Don't tell Daddy, but they beat his eggs any day. All right, I won't tell him now. I'll wait for the appropriate time, then I'll zap him. <laughs> Did you used to cook for Eve? I thought we decided that that was a subject known grata. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. You know, you really did a beautiful job with that wedding dress. I was short notice. Mm, thanks. It used to be a laney, so we had to take a tuck in here and a tuck in there. I think it bothered her, though, a little bit that um, she wouldn't be able to pass it on to her daughter. Mm. I could really see you in one of those. You could? Mm hmm Where did that come from? Hey, what are you doing? Just hold still. Well, what about breakfast? Nick, I can eat or I can make love. I can't do both. No, I'm not attacking you, Melinda. I'll save that for later. I just want you to try on Harley's wedding dress. What? Oh, what's wrong? I just want to see how it looks on you. Well, in case you've forgotten, I have my own wedding dress. If you wanted to see me in it bad enough, then why don't you show up the day that I wore it? Excuse me, Melinda, but I did show up. You weren't there. You, you didn't trust me enough to stick around. Because your mother told me that you weren't coming back, that you hated me. I don't really want to talk about this. Neither do I. It's hard not to talk about it, though, isn't it? On a day like today. What comes to your mind when you do think about it? 
How do you remember that day? As Alexandra's greatest triumph. That's the way I used to think about it anyway. I don't know, maybe... Maybe we just weren't ready for marriage back then. Or maybe we just didn't want it bad enough. Do you think you ever will? Want it bad enough? Yeah. Will you? My car is just around the corner. Thanks anyway, Roger, but I can get home by myself. Ah, why don't you let me drive? It's out of your way. I'll take a cab. Perhaps are hard to come by this time of night. Besides, we've got plenty to talk about on the way. Talk about what, Roger? Well, now, don't be nervous, Jillian. I like the way you handle that runt of the Spalding litter. Shows you still have a good head on your shoulders. Oh, am I supposed to take that as a compliment? Still harboring some resentment toward me, are you? I'm working on getting past them. I like that. See, your first tendency is always to be honest. That's why I hired your bank. Now, if you were to try to turn things to your advantage the way Alan Michael does... Look, he had too much to drink tonight, that's all. He's a fool sober and a damn fool drunk, but I don't want to waste time discussing him. He's a loser, always has been, always will be. But you're a winner, Jilly. Or at least you have every chance to be, and I'm giving you that chance. Know why? Because I think you've seen the light. You know what I can and what I will do when I'm crossed. It's much better to remain loyal and give rein to your ambitions within the framework of WSPR. That is my intention. Good. If, however, you ever have a thought toward being disloyal, just keep in mind that you'll never be so far out of my sight that I won't know what you're up to, even before you do yourself. than getting ripped off. Marginally. Now look, I'm going to ask you this one, one question, one time only, and I expect a legitimate, if not completely honest answer. What are you doing here? Why do you have a car alarm you don't use? That's not even illegitimate. Well, anybody could have gotten in this sunroof. See? Anybody can do whatever anybody wants. That's the problem with the world today. Oh, that's deep. Yes, very deep. Are you drunk? Huh? Me? Are you even old enough to get drunk? No, to the first, and why do you care to the second? <sighs> Believe me, I have no idea why. Oh, do you want me to tell you why? No! Actually, I think you ought to be grateful. Actually, that's true, but I'm, I'm not. I'm actually very tired, and I've had a very long and, and lousy night, and I'd rather not sit here and have a long and lousy chat with you. Well, do you know that diner on this street? Look, all the restaurants are closed, okay? It's closed. But, if, you know, if you hurry, you can go down to Maine. There's an all-night drive through burger place over there. Walk on down to a drive through Now, that doesn't make sense, does it? How about we make sense of this? Good night. Do you know the people who run the diner? Yeah, they used to be my in-laws. You're kidding. No, I never kid about in-laws. You mean... You mean you used to be married to the girl that was in the wedding dress tonight? Right. Or is there another one? You know, this is what comes of being a good Samaritan, I swear. I'll never do another good deed as long as I live scouts on her. But did you know the girl's father? No, not, not, very, not very well, thank God. Well, why not? I don't know. I just, I haven't known him that long. Well, how long? He went away, and then he came back, okay? Okay, he went away, and then he came back. Look, any other information you want on the good folk of Springfield can be easily obtained by going to the public library, okay? Now, thank you very much. Good night. 
and good luck. Okay. Just one last question. No. My name is Lucy. And I need a place to stay. Sorry, I just... I, I, I didn't want to wake Billy. What's going on? Where, where are you? I'm in the Jakarta airport. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It just dawned on me that it must be the middle of the night there. I'm sorry, Vanessa. It's just that I got this time warp discombobulation setting in. You know, I just... You know how it is. I mean, I just hate arriving at a place hours before I left. You know what I mean? Fletcher, are you drunk? <sighs> no, but I'm working on it. Why? Oh, well, I... Hey, how's Ben? I mean, did he have a good time with, the, with his friend? Oh, Ben's great. He had a wonderful time. I think he was delighted he missed the wedding, but what's going on? Oh, I miss him. Fletcher. What? Why are you in Jakarta? Um... I'm looking for Alexandra. What? Well, I didn't want to say anything, you know, in case it didn't pan out. Yeah, well, did it pan out? Oh, yeah, yeah, it panned out. I almost found her, and then I lost her again. My luck is still holding. Well, does that mean she's still alive? Yeah. You sure? Positive. Yeah, I even know where she's headed next. <laughs> where? Paris. You know, I'd have been on a plane with her, except security wouldn't let me on without my bags. My bags had already been checked through to Chicago, and by the time they got off of my flight, her flight was long gone. Why is she going to Paris? That's just one of a multitude of questions I'm going to ask myself, including that old standby. What do I do next? So help me, Vanessa, what do I do next? Do I come home, or, or do I chase her to Paris? Or do I just spend another nickel and call Nick? So you don't think about marriage anymore? Not the way I used to. Well, you want to explain that to me? Yeah. When I, um, used to think about my future, all I could see was being married. But not anymore. Mm -hmm. Two or three disasters will do that to you, you know. Yeah, our wedding was a definite disaster. Mm-hmm. A complete fiasco. But it got me thinking, you know. It made me realize that I should have a plan B exclusive of marriage. And what's plan B? To make something of myself. And I don't think I would have done that if we had gotten married last year. My priorities were all screwed up. To tell you the truth, I don't think I would have been such a great husband back then either. You know, I always had the feeling that I would be less than the perfect joy for any woman that had the nerve to say yes to me. <laughs> well, I have nerve to spare now. Obviously. Or else you wouldn't be back with me again, right? <laughs> so where do you think that leaves us now, huh? <sighs> well, what's... What's wrong with right here for now? I mean, at least for the moment. I mean, we could always go someplace else, do something more. Like marriage? Yeah, like marriage. There's one thing I do know, Melinda. I can't imagine being married to anybody else but you. There's nothing that can come between us again. So, her father is your father, and her mother is his wife, and it's a mess. It is just a mess. Why is everything always such a mess? Well, am I glad Harley didn't find out about this before she left? Oh, yeah, Harley would have freaked. She will freak when she finds out about this. Oh, damn him. Frankie. No, Eleni, I told her. 
I warned her about him that he was nothing but a cheat, a coward, and a con man. Frankie, you are making up with him tonight. Listen, I, I feel like such a fool here. I was really starting to believe that the guy was for real, but obviously he's not. Ping! The world was made for fun and frolic, and so do I, and so do I. <laughs> I am in good voice tonight, is that right? And you know why? Because tonight has been perfection. David is set free, my beautiful grandniece married to the man of her dreams. Thank you, God, for tonight. <laughs> but why aren't you happy like, oh, Nadine? You don't have to feel bad. You didn't lose a daughter, you gained a son. <laughs> and then some. What? Uh, it's okay, Stoppers. We are all just as happy as you are now, Santa. And it's that. all because of Buzz. <laughs> oh, yeah. Buzz, okay. that's all right. At first, I doubted him. But no more. Okay, okay, Stoppers. Now, you go to bed. You don't even set the alarm. You sleep as long as you want. Okay? No. You need your rest. What I want is to dance. Whew. No. <laughs> what I want is to rest. You're right, yes. lady. Yes, sir. I sweet dreams to everyone. Okay, Kalinita. I, okay. uh, uh, uh. All right, Rosic, sis, Okay, tonight was was perfection. Stavros is right. And and we were all just as happy as he was a little bit ago, and we felt just as good about Buzz as he does. So So how can we hate him now, huh? Because we just found out that we were never good enough for him. He's always wanted more. We're just not good enough. We never were, and we never will be. trying to rally. I just saw El Thorpe go off with David Grant's sister, and I figured he'd be alone. Well, I know that Roger is with Jilly, and I may be alone, but I'm not lonely. I am. I've been trying to walk it off, but it's not working. All right. Why don't you have some of your favorite cognac? Perhaps that will help. I could use some. Thank you. Have you been crying? I have another daughter. What? Not another one I left. I know you're thinking that, but no, I... One I raised. She doesn't know about my family here. They don't know about her. Wow. Where do you stash this other daughter of yours? Santa Fe. Haven't seen her in three years. She had some boyfriend I couldn't stand. I was right, the guy turned out to be worthless. We had this huge fight. And she took off. Haven't had any contact with her at all. Until. Until when? Tonight. Oh. Of all nights, she comes to Springfield. Tonight. At the wedding. Well, the trail in. Everything came out. Come here. Come on. Come over here. place to go and I would not get there even oh, if I did. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No. You're on your own, kid, okay? I'll be happy to take you to the nearest train station or bus station and leave you there, but after that, it's a parting of the ways. Well, well, how big is your place anyway? Small. It's very, very small, and I just moved in there to get a little bit of privacy. Why am I even talking to you about this? Huh? Why, why don't I just call a cop? How about that? Who, who are you that I should be this nice to you? I'm a cooper. I'm Buzz Cooper's other daughter. 
the other one that no one's ever even heard of before. And if you let me off on, a, on this corner here, I'm just going to fall asleep. Because I've got this very strong feeling that I'm just going to go off by myself, fall asleep, and never wake up. And no one's ever going to know. Take the very next plane to Paris, find Alexandra, and bring her home. Look, the only reason I'm hesitating about this is because I'm thinking that the message is maybe that she doesn't want to come home. She'll want to when she knows what's going on. She'll find out fast. She's got a lot of friends in Paris. The someone's going to tell her about Roger and Jenna's takeover. Yeah, you're right. She'll hear. She will hear, and then she's going to want to know all the sorry details from a person who knows them, like you. <sighs> Well, the only problem then becomes, how are you going to keep me down on the farm once I've seen Paris? Oh, I don't know. We'll think of a way. Okay. All right, um, I'm on the next carrier pigeon out of here, except, Vanessa, this conversation never happened. Nobody can know we talked. Fletch, Nick needs to know, Alan Michael needs to know she's alive. No, 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 Vanessa, please trust me on this. Uh, first, let me see if I can find Alexander and then see what's what, and then I'll see if the two of them need to know. Okay, all right. I promise. Take care. Goodbye. I'll talk to you soon. Who's that? Oh. Just a friend who wanted to talk. And so what about your family, the other... The originals? They hate me. Why shouldn't they? I brought them nothing but misery. But Lucy, I don't regret. Where are you going to stay tonight? Home. Oh. Where else? And tomorrow, back to work with the family. I beg for that job. I can't walk away from you. You're a very brave man. Why didn't I ever know that about you? Buzz the Valiant. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Thanks for the cognac. Well, wait a minute. I'll get you a bottle you can take with you. We've got so many of them. You frightened me. I. Jenna, uh, cognac in the middle of the night? Yes. Why not? I, I hear all the best people do it. place over to me, Alexandra. I hope you don't mind my having a few personal objects around. Not at all. I, I, I'm thrilled and, and surprised I, that you'd want to live here with me. This is wonderful. You've made me so happy. I found the place to be very comfortable, Alexandra. And so is my new wife. Wendy's gone. She left Springfield. We can't be, 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 we can't 
Did we lie here a moment ago and tell each other we were glad that Alexandra broke us up? Well, I don't think we said it quite like that. <laughs> Did I forget to mention that I would not appreciate anyone doing that again? Well, there's a fat chance of that happening, huh? Yeah, why is that? Because I'm in love with you. And I'm not letting you get away again. I'm gonna make sure of that myself, my love. Guiding Light. Fashion Jewelry by Lee Wolf.